A very good morning and a warm welcome to today's celebration of the Holy Eucharist from Redemptorist Media Center. During this Holy Eucharist, we pray for the following intentions. We pray for the repose of the souls of Aliemma Matthew and Elizabeth, Alice Sushila Pinto, C.A. Maria Raj and Arun Kajitan de Souza, Cecil John Gotham, Selin Brito and Percy Brito, Crystal Frutal, Desmond Gonzalez, Dominique Hoover, Dorothy Braganza, Esperanza Godros and Holy Souls in Purgatory, Hilary Francis Pereira, Erwin Coelho, Kiran, Luis Desa and Juliet Desa, Rosario Felipe Dias, Rosario Manuel Dias, Rosie Dias, Shaji Philip, Souls in Purgatory and Abandoned Souls, Sister Josephine Hoover, Zeta Barrett. We offer it on the remembrance of Maria de Souza, Canada, on the seventh day, Christopher Symes on the fourth month's mind. Birthday remembrance of Cynthia Francis and Victor Roach. The following are offered the first death anniversary of Hilda Concisao, Felix George Concisao, Joan Custodio de Sao, on the 11th death anniversary, Nineveh Rosario, Paul Almeida on the 39th, and Varki Paulus on the death anniversary. The following are offered as Thanksgiving on the birthdays of John Joseph, 60th birthday, Selin Gomez, Selin Gomez, Damien de Souza, Mumbai, Kia Christian Vijay, and on the birthday of Rocky, Rocky M. Thanksgiving on the wedding anniversaries or on the on the or Laura and Victor Fernandez, Joy and um, Cyril Mackitrin, 60th. Thanksgiving for favors received for, for Holy Trinity by Sandra Pinto, Our Lady of Perpetual Help by Sandra Pinto, Vinod and Barbara Odenor, Joe and family. Thanksgiving for the intentions received by Walter and Geraldine Raymond and family. The following are offered for the special intentions to Our Lady, Mary, undoer of knots, for the conversion of sinners in the church, for Abe and Joy and to get a job, for God-fearing and God-pleasing life partner, for Sujata Dungdung, for healing for from cancer of Sister Lydia Dusanu, for healing from fear, anxiety and confusion and good health and well-being of James Sanjay, for successful surgery of F.E. Mascarenus, healing of Yannick, thanksgiving and praying for the speedy recovery of Mark and Bruce, um, the Bruce not to be a factor. For special intentions of Sunil Dominic Savio, with these intentions with our own, let us now prayfully participate in this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Heavenly Father, 
and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Good morning to your friends. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Vincent de Paul. In this Eucharist, we pray for all the charitable works, all the charitable societies in the name of Saint Vincent de Paul. We also pray for all the priests and religious in his name, Saint, Vin Saint Vincent of Congregation of the Missions, that God may bless them and their ministries. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharist, <clears throat> let us acknowledge our own faults and failures and pray for God's forgiveness and mercy. <clears throat> Together we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My dear friends, may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant we pray that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I will save my people from the East Country and from the West Country. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. The word of the Lord of hosts came saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I am jealous for her with great wrath. Thus says the Lord, I have returned to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city. And the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with staff in hand because of great age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, If it is marvelous in the sight of the remnant of his people in those days, should it also be marvelous in my sight, declares the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them to dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God, in faithfulness and in righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Oriol Psalm. Our response is, The Lord shall build up Zion, 
He will appear in all his glory. The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he will appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. Let this be returned for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may rise to the Lord. The Lord look down from his holy place on high, look down from heaven to the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. The Lord shall build up Zion, he will appear in all his glory. The children of his servants shall dwell untroubled and their descendants established before you. May the Lord of Lord be proclaimed in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. The when Lord. peoples and kingdoms are gathered as one to offer their worship to the Lord. The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. I understand for the gospel. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as ransom for many. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, an argument arose among disciples as to which of them was the greatest. But Jesus, knowing the reasoning of their hearts, took a child and put him by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. For he who is least among all of you is the one who is great. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him, for the one who is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Lee Kuan Yew is the father of the nation in Singapore. One of his sons was studying in the Christian Brothers School. One day this boy picked up a quarrel with one of his classmates and he asked, Do you know who I am? My father is the president. Don't forget that. By coincidence, the principal of the school, the brother happened to pass that way and he heard this. He reported this matter to Lee Kuan Yew. And the following day, while the school assembly was going on, the president arrived there and with the permission of the brother principal, he called the boy in the front and in front of all the staff and students, gave one slap on the boy's face and said, Never use my name and position 
to cover up your crimes. You can imagine such a thing happening in India. You can be sure all the Faratu citizens will call for a Bharat Bandh to fight against the president accusing him of child abuse. And that is why Singapore is there where they are. And we are here where we are in the scale of progress. In the Gospel of today, we see that the beloved disciples of Jesus also carried their baggage, craving for power and positions. Now, power elevates us above our own fellow men, and positions often alienate us from our own people. And Jesus, he presented a child as a role model. What are the characteristics of the child? The child, as we know, is a bundle of joy to everyone who sees the child. The child is a sign of the original innocence. The child is always active. The child can be satisfied and happy with small little things. And above all, the child is totally dependent upon others, the parents. And Jesus taught us God is the Father, our Daddy. So the appropriate relationship and attitude that we should have is one of a child to be a beloved baby. The prodigal son, he pretended to be an adult, wanted to be independent, and eventually it led him to the pigsty. So Jesus is telling us as well as, as what he told the disciples, be childlike, so that we may be totally dependent and oriented towards God, our beloved Dad, our Father. And to those in authority, he has given us the example of a servant. You are not the master. God is the master. And we are all at the service of God and his kingdom. So today, we pray for this childlike simplicity, innocence, and total dependence upon God the Father. And may St. Vincent de Paul be our role model in serving others, especially the poor, the afflicted, and the abandoned. And may the saint of the day, St. Vincent de Paul, inspire us and intercede for us. Amen. This bread and wine Take a house and make them die Take a book and our anxiety Give us life and liberty Change this bread Let us pray, my dear friends, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and good of all this holy church. O oh God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of his sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Our Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, 
Peter Machado, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, <coughs> St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Vincent de Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With faith and trust in God our Father, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, may the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and grants us peace. Blessed are we who are called to participate in this banquet of God's love. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word and, and my soul shall be healed. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Prayer for the end of the pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers that we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are being found and administered, they may be safely, effectively, and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world. We pray for all government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Dear friends, do join us this evening for Who's Who in the Bible, Praying with Biblical Characters. Today's episode is going to be on the character Matthias, presented by Father Juventus Andrade. And this evening also join us for the Holy Rosary at 7 p.m. And today, at the end of the rosary, we're going to have a 30-second um, surprise for you. As along with praying the rosary, we also want to learn something. So do join us to see what it is. God bless you. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, our Eucharistic celebration is over. Let us now go and live in the love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and ever more. Great indeed are your works, Great indeed are your works, O Lord. 